what's up guys I am uh, headed to another call and this is uh, an ongoing issue from my understanding it's a uh, it's a reach-in frozen food case that's running warm and I don't know it's it's a uh, rack a that is giving us some issues I heard that there's moisture in the system and then that a bunch of guys took care of it the last couple of days um, during the week and but now Sunday comes around and uh, we got a service call on one particular case so let's find out what happened okay I'm here I'm at my call let's see I got my frozen food case right here it's showing that it's running about zero degrees right now got my fluke on there and it's showing about I can get a good picture minimum it got was 3.0 degrees so yeah we're running a little warm this is the same type of case there's two cases on here here's a second case and this one's running look at that like mine is 15 14 degrees so obviously there's an issue now they just did a bunch of work over the last week of changing all the liquid line dryers because of the moisture changed they changed it did a lot of stuff to this case so this only this one case is being affected and I'm gonna take a look right here okay there's my hand valve they burned in the new liquid line dryer and uh, the arrow, I checked the arrow, it is going in the right direction. So, I don't know if you can see the arrow down there, but yeah, you probably can. Focus, focus. See that little arrow is going the right direction towards the coil. Okay, but I do have a little bit of frost coming after my hand valve there. You know. So there might be some moisture caught up in here. Um, I gotta take a temp reading across my dryer. That could be an issue right there. Or across my hand valve. So I'll take a temp reading and we'll get back. And then if that's not the case, we'll look up at the rack. So, okay. Let's find out what happened. All right. Had the product removed. Got my cover off. And look what I see here. Yep, you guessed it. It looks like it's a plugged up strainer, TXV strainer, which is right here on the nut. So, I'm gonna pump down the system, uh, clean the strainer out, see if it's plugged up. Maybe it might have a little bit of moisture in the TXV. Uh, I'll put a torch on that if it's not plugged up. That way we can get this thing moving again. All right, went ahead and pumped it down. I got my TXV unscrewing it, right? Unscrewing it. That way you can see what's going on. It looks pretty clean. I don't see any um, dirt on it, so most likely it's just the moisture. Yeah, the TXV is all plugged up, so I'm just gonna throw a torch on it, try to break up the moisture in there. And, um,. Hopefully we'll loosen it up and the dryers up at the rack will catch it. All right, I'm gonna turn on my hand valve. Put a 
temp probe on it right now and see if the temp starts to drop. the other case same temperature minus five or four or five whatever you want to call it so that's what it was moisture in the system um, what happens is what happens is moisture will get caught up in this valve right here in the little orifice that the refrigerator flows through and it'll cause uh, a lot of um, it'll ice up the moisture will ice up in there and it'll cause refrigerant not to flow through it which will form all that frost so went ahead and heated that up melt the ice that was inside let it flow through the dryers will catch it up on top they got some moisture um, high moisture dryers in there right now to capture all the moisture that just got left behind and so they're gonna change those out um, in a couple days, probably like Monday, Tuesday, today is Sunday, so in a couple days they'll change those out, and then um, that should be it, so this case is at 10, I am done, and I'll see you in the next call.